In this video we're going to explore how we would measure a set of stairs and calculate the area so we can buy some carpet. If you imagine a stair as being a series of rectangles or oblongs you can see that it's going to be quite easy to calculate. Now a set of stairs is made up of a rise which is how tall the step is and a run which is how deep the step is. Now local building regulations will cover what they are in your area but typically they generally tend to be about 20 centimeters tall by about 25 centimeters deep. The only other measurements needed are how wide the stair is and how many stairs there are. While we're looking at measurements there's nothing to stop you measuring say the height in centimeters and the width in inches but it's very easy to get confused converting from one unit to another. I always recommend sticking to the one unit rule and in this case I'm going to be sticking to centimetres. You might remember from school the area of a rectangle is calculated by multiplying the length by the height. When you know the area of the rectangle and the area of the, for the rise and the area of the rectangle for the run you'll know the area for each step and all you need to do now is multiply that by the number of steps and you'll have the area of carpet that's needed for the stairs. I'm going to use Excel to do the calculations for me and if you're following along you'll see that we're going to use formulas to do the calculations and then convert to the meter square to match the, how the carpets are sold. And then we could even look and see how much it would cost per meter square to give us a total area and cost for our new carpet. Let's enter some formulas now. So to calculate the length that we need, I'm going to add the 20 up and the 25 across. Now this is simple, I can see that that is going to be total as 45. The equation, or the formula that we put in, is equals sum, open brackets, b8 plus b9 and then close the brackets. To calculate the area of the step, that's length times the width. So in this case, it's equal sum b10 multiplied by b11 and close brackets. So this works out at over 4,000 centimeters squared. Let's multiply that by the number of steps. And in this instance, I'm going to be using an example that's 12 steps big. To work out the total area of the carpet that's needed, I'll simply put the formula in equal sum open brackets, the number of steps multiplied by the area of each step and then I'll close the bracket. That gives me 48,000, nearly 49,000 centimetres squared. To calculate the area in square metres, which is what it will be sold by, it's never sold by square centimetres or square inches, I'm going to put a calculation in here and it's fairly straightforward. It's equals sum, open brackets, I'll take the area of the carpet then I'll divide that by 10,000, close the brackets and that gives me 4.86 meters squared that I need to buy. So we now have our area that we need to buy our carpet off for which is 4.86 meters and we know that the price is in this instance I'm choosing £5.95 or $5.95 per square meter so the sum is equals sum, open brackets, the area times the price per square meter, close bracket, hit enter. And we can see there that the price is £28.92p. Thank you for watching. For further information, or if you want to enrol in one of the courses or buy the book, please visit www.practicalxl2010.com.